What's up, Taurus? It's your girl, Sid, from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your September 2022 mid-month reading. Disclaimer, as always, this is not, and I repeat, not a love and light channel. If you are looking for sunshine and rainbows, goody-goody gumdrops and whatnots, this is not the place for you. If you are looking for a reader who's going to lie to you and tell you everything that you want to hear, I suggest you click off and go find that reader. It's not me. However, if you are looking for the truth, served straight up, just like the libations that we pour for our ancestors, this is the place and I am your girl. So welcome. Taurus, if you are new here and you are still here, congratulations. You've made it past the disclaimer. You are a real one. Let me know it's real by liking this video. Subscribe to the channel and interact with the content. Leave us a little comment down there. Taurus, if you're not new, welcome back. It's because of you that this channel continues to grow and flourish. So you've been a real one and I appreciate you. Thank you. If you're looking for personal readings, all that information is linked in the description box below uh, the website, as well as Patreon and channel membership information. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. Now it's Monday. All the other readings are out and I apologize. I did not get your reading out with everyone else's because I cannot count, but here we are. <laughs> I'm back with a broken nail to make sure y'all get y'all's message. Okay. So I'm going to take my time with it again. Thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking the videos. Now let's go ahead and get into your message. My bad, y'all. <laughs> okay, so while I was channeling your energy, Taurus, the message that Spirit wanted me to bring to you was that everything that you need, you already have at your fingertips. Everything you already have, everything you already need, you already have at your fingertips. Okay. So they want you to utilize everything. Okay. So it feels like there are some resources that you have, whether you are aware of them or not, that can help you in whatever it is that your issue is, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever your goal is, you have everything that you need. You just may not be aware of what is in front of you. Okay. So we're going to start with a Island Time Wellness. I'm sorry, not the Island Time. The Wild Unknown Tarot to get your overall energy as well as the uh, African Goddess Rising. Okay. So Spirit, what is the overall energy of this reading for Taurus? Oh. Okay, they said we got two. <laughs> All right, so we have the Three of Cups in the reverse and the Father of Swords in the upright. So when the, when the Three of Cups is in the reverse, that can indicate fake friends, that can indicate being surrounded by people that may not necessarily serve you. Uh, this can indicate that perhaps you're doing too much partying. Okay. You may be distracted. And then we have the father of swords. The father of swords is about discernment, justice, and doing what is right, doing what needs to be done. Okay. So for some of you all, there may be some people that are just not for you that you need to cut out of your life right now. Um, there may be some friends who are actually friends, but they are a bit of a distraction. So you need to cut out the amount of time that you're spending with them, um, in order to be able to focus on whatever it is, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, and we're going to find out just a little bit more in just a moment. Let's see what the, uh, African goddess rising has to say, which goddess, which African goddess would like to speak Taurus at this time. Hmm. Skemet, the wounded healer. 
connect the wounded healer. All right, and that is number 15. That reduces down to six, which is about releasing what does not serve you. Okay, so let's start with... Her temple, <clears throat> Skemet, goddess of wounded healers. She's based out of Egypt, and her temple is the Temple of Warriors. In this deck, the Temple of Warriors are our goddesses that stand on the front lines of our true internal power. The Temple of Warriors radiates energetically with the power uh, with the color of yellow and aligns physically with the solar plexus okay so that is where your confidence is derived skemet is the fierce ancient egyptian goddess of war the sun and healing she carries life force in her palm with the power to create or destroy her guidance says heal thyself everyone gets your best except for you you are a healer among your tribe. Stop putting your needs last. Embodiment. When did you decide to become a martyr? Take a breath. Wounded healers hold sadness, rage, fears, and fears of brokenness. Being a warrior wasn't a choice for our beloved foremothers. They did the best they could. But being a goddess warrior for us is knowing that we have the choice not to fight all the time. Deep dive questions. What are your swords? The weapons you choose to fight. And what are your shields? The ways that you defend yourself. Dare to lay burdens down along with your swords and your shields. It is safe to put myself first. So with this message from Skemet, your three of cups and your father of swords. What I'm getting here is that if there is something that you are trying to accomplish, like I said before, some of you all are being distracted by the people that you surround yourself with. So you're needing to limit your contact with those people. But for some of you, what I'm feeling is it's not so much that you want to neglect the things that you want to neglect, but you are such a martyr that you keep on putting the things that you would like to do on the back burner in favor of helping other people, okay? But you have to learn to help yourself first. Now, I am a Taurus Venus, so I love just the way that you do. So I'm very much understanding what this is. Okay, you are so loyal and so dedicated to your friends and to your family. You want to see everyone do great and be great. You don't even think twice about the things that you have to do. You would easily leave things for another day just to make sure that somebody that you care about is taken care of, that they get whatever it is that they need today. Okay. So, Skimet is asking you, try not to catch that glare, is asking you, I guess we're going to catch the glare. Okay, there she goes. Is asking you to put down your weapons, put down your swords, put down all the things that you use to fight and heal yourself. Because what this may come from is a place of pain of hurt something from your childhood this may be something that has to be shadow worked the fact that you keep sacrificing and sacrificing and sacrificing yourself okay let's get into your reading so spirit speak to me speak through me we're using the modern witch tarot today What's happening with Taurus? What's happening with Taurus today? I mean, mm. 
What's happening in Taurus? Look, Two of Cups. For some of you all, it's a partnership. It's a relationship that you're dealing with that you are putting before your own needs. Ace of Wands, okay. Page of Pentacles. Okay, I'm getting for some of you all that you've been offered some type of partnership. This is a new opportunity for you. Something that's going to be financially uh, gainful for you. Or it's going to be a stepping stone with the Page of Pentacles towards something bigger, something greater. I feel like in order to properly receive this, you have to let go of friends and family members or you have to distance yourself from them. You have to prioritize whatever this partnership is. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, please, Spirit. Six of Cups. Yeah, whatever is not working from the past, I feel like this connection that's distracting you is something from the past. It's a... It's a sibling, it's a family member, it's family members, perhaps six family members. Um, but I feel like whatever you are trying to accomplish with the three of cups in the reverse, perhaps some of you all are being discouraged by your family members or being discouraged from people from your past, like long-term friends. about what you can and cannot do or telling you not to invest in this, that this is a waste of time, whatever this opportunity is. Tell me more, Spirit. But this is something that you're very passionate about. We have the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. So for me, that's zero to 100 real quick. I feel like you have to <clears throat> stop listening to what other people are saying as well as stop entertaining other people at this time. I feel like there's definitely a need for you to go within, like go into hermit mode. Just It should just be you as much as you can. Now, if you are in a situation where like you live with other people, make time for yourself, make space for yourself. Okay, because I feel like there's either some type of envy that you are pursuing something that uh, others are not. Perhaps they, you know, gave up on their dreams, whereas you are aggressively pursuing yours uh, with the king of wands. And I feel like... There's a need for you to keep your business to yourself, okay? So this new partnership that may be coming in for some of you, this partnership, this new opportunity that's going to be either financial gain, financially gainful for you or a stepping stone, um, I feel like you shouldn't even be talking about it to anyone, especially not whoever these people are, okay? Because they are going to try to talk you out of it. And it, it's coming from a place of not trying to help you, not trying to encourage you to do something that's better or whatever the case is. Um, but this is coming from a place of trying to, de to deter you, trying to distract you. Eight of Swords, yeah. Get up out of your head. Like it, if it, it feels like they're trying, 
they're trying to get in your head and they're trying to like enforce these limiting beliefs they're trying to enforce the um the you what you can't do and what you don't have and how you're not going to you know they're trying to enforce that <laughs> spirit is saying walk away from it eight of swords in reverse eight of cups yes walk away from that and and if it's you if you are your own saboteur <laughs> um you have to learn to walk away from that kind of behavior within yourself okay so eight eight maybe a number you are seeing often if you all pay attention to angel numbers eight or 88 uh, but eights are about cycles they're about abundance they're about um perpetuity okay with the, with it being an infinity sign okay so this eight of cups um i'm getting the message about the obstacles the the message of the eight of swords is walking away from certain situations these eight cups um that don't serve you in order to push towards things that will even though there may be obstacles that you have to face even though there may be obstacles that you have to face and then even in the sky we have the moon in this card the moon represents your hopes as well as your fears so even in spite of your fear perhaps some of you have a fear of failure some of you all may have a fear of success um in, in spite of the obstacles that may come up as you journey towards whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, push towards your goals anyway. Because while it may be a harder way to go, your current way, your the, the path of least resistance is littered with haters. It's littered with people who don't want you to be great because they never were. Okay, three of wands came out in the reverse. This is a card of waiting, uh, waiting for your ships to come in. Um, it may feel to you, a uh, Taurus, that you've been trying to accomplish this goal for however long, an extended amount of time, and it's just not coming in the time that you would like. That may be where some of the limiting beliefs come from, and that's where you know people are able to kind of reinforce those beliefs but we have the seven of swords in the reverse don't be deceived don't be deceived just because you don't see it in the time that you would like to see it just because it's not coming as quickly as you would like to see it come doesn't mean it's not coming but don't let these people convince you you know like see i told you you're doing all this for what? Nothing is coming of the situation. Nothing's coming of the situation. Don't believe it. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. If these people are telling you that like you're not the type of person who these things happen for, don't believe it. Spirit already told you everything that you need, you have. Every resource that you need, you have, it's available to you. It's right at your fingertips. For some of you, one of those resources is going to include your ancestors and your spirit team. For those of you all who are into ancestor work and do the things, if you're not, I highly recommend it. For others of you, there's literal material resources. There's literally people who want to give you things, who want to create a way for you. So I really feel like this, this reading is about building partnerships with people who share your same values, people who have the same goals as you, and people who are in a field or in a space that you would like to be in, who can give you a leg up, who can create stepping stones for you, who can open doors for you. But what you're not going to invest in eight of pentacles eight of swords eight of cups i'm just noticing this 888 some of y'all are seeing 888 but what you're not going to invest in 
as these limiting beliefs. Spirit wants you to walk away from that. And even though whatever it is you're trying to accomplish may be taking a while to bear fruit, spirit needs you to walk away from this thought process of if it's not here, then it's probably not going to come. They don't want you believing that <clears throat> they don't want you believing that all of your work is in vain. A lot of these cards are about uh, thought. We have a few swords here. They're about, about sword, uh, thoughts um, and how you are thinking. Some of you all's blockage in the reason why you are waiting for so long for things to appear to manifest in your life is because of the way that you are thinking about the things that you are waiting to manifest in your life. If you are thinking negatively about them, every sword here with the exception of the father of swords is negative. If you are thinking negatively about what it is that you want about the life that you are trying to create and manifest, then you are going to manifest negative outcomes. So you need to think more positively about what it is that you're trying to create. Okay? Do not... Feed into the negative emotions that you are feeling. Do not allow people who don't want you to be, great, to be great to influence the way that you feel about the things that you are pursuing. Always consider the source. And that is a rule to live by in any arena of your life. Always consider the source. How can someone who has nothing, who has accomplished nothing, or has no experience in whatever it is that you're trying to do, be an expert on what you're trying to do? If you have a business that you are trying to grow, what the hell do you look like listening to someone who's only ever been an employee and has never tried to create a business? What do you look like? All right, so let's get your moonology messages. Look, I love it. First card out. What do you need to release? These haters, that negative uh, thought process, some of the pain of your past that causes you to be a martyr and to sacrifice the things that you love and want to do for yourself in favor of things for other people, the things that other people want you to do. What do you need to release? Emotions are running high, super moon card. I'm not sure if, uh, what is that? Venus is in retrograde. We have five planets in retrograde right now. But um, with the emotions are running high card. This is super moon energy. This is your emotions being amplified. So if you are frustrated, you may be experiencing more frustration than usual. If you are feeling down on yourself, then you may be a little bit more down than usual. And this further, this drives home the point that you need to be focusing inwards right now and that you need to be separating from certain people because these people can be influencing the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you feel about what you're trying to do. And that's not what you need right now. What you need is time to yourself, time to focus on your things, time to accomplish what you are trying to accomplish. And sometimes it is not until we separate from certain people that accomplishments are made. I have to separate from people in order to get monetized on YouTube. And it was 
nearly immediate that I had to break away from people who are trying to distract me from my goals that I gained, that I accomplished that goal. You know, sometimes you have to break away. Sometimes it's temporary. Sometimes certain people don't want to see you be great. So you need to separate from them, period. Your last moonology card. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. How bad do you want this? Some of these people are tests. Some of these distractions are tests. You say that you want this. Well, how many times are you going to allow that person to make you change your plans of working on your things today in order to babysit their kids? (laughs) How many times will you say yes when you really want to say no? All right, so let's move on. Rebel messages. Rebel, rebel, talk nice. Or don't. I don't care. But please. Tell Taurus what they need to hear. Stop texting. Stop stalking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend spend your time with someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. So spend your time on someone or something worth it. Someone being you and something being the, thing, the goals that you want to accomplish. Instead of checking to see that everybody else is okay. It's okay, Taurus, to be selfish sometimes. I almost called y'all cancer. Some of y'all may be dealing with cancers. Some of y'all may be having a very um, clingy, codependent, needy cancer around y'all. That's always wanting something from you. Don't know where that came from. That's for somebody. Take it. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Stop always checking on other people. Sometimes, and I'll say oftentimes, it is okay to be selfish. It is okay to say no. It is okay to have time for yourself. You time. That's okay. That's a thing that you deserve. (laughs) Time for yourself. Okay. Fuck fear. Ooh. 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 Okay. For some of you, you're afraid. Didn't I say some of y'all have a fear of success and some of y'all have a fear of failure? Stop being fearful. Some of you all are using these people as a distraction on purpose. Y'all want to be distracted because you fear whatever it is that you are working on not working out or it working out to the point where too much attention is being placed on you now. Okay. Whatever your fear is, whether it's a fear of failure or a fear of success, fuck that fear. Fuck that fear, friend. (laughs) Fuck that fear. Don't don't let that be the distraction. For some of y'all, the people themselves are not the distraction. It's the fear that is distracting you. And you are allowing the people to be your, your excuse to not focus on your things. What's the last rebel message? Stop obsessing. Look. You're not the fucking center of the universe. You're the center of your universe. These rebel cards be reckless with their mouth. But anyway, look. Stop obsessing. Some of you all are so worried about the outcome, whether that's success or whether that's failure, that you are paralyzing yourself. And this is why spirit threw this eight of cups at y'all and said you need to walk away from that. That's the emotion that y'all need to walk away from is fear. Y'all need to get up out of your heads. You're thinking too much. And you're not moving enough. (laughs) You're not doing enough. So I really feel this energy of just do. 
especially when this is something that you love. You have the uh, king of wands. So I know that this is something that you are passionate about. So why not just create without worrying about the outcome? That's the issue that a lot of people face in life in general. You have to be present. You have to be worrying about the now, not worrying because worrying creates more things to worry about, but focus on the now instead of thinking about what the outcome is going to be. Work on the thing now, work on that business now, work on that painting, that song now. Open that business now. Now, Taurus. And don't worry about the outcome. Don't worry about the outcome. Let's go ahead and get you all a crystal message. Which crystal oracle would like to speak to Taurus today? What crystal spirit has a message for Taurus today? Mm. Seraphos Green Quartz number 50. Okay. 50 reduces down to 5. 5 is about change. Okay. So the Seraphos Green Quartz essential meaning says life on life's terms, joy de vivre, an acceptance of our place in the world, heaven on earth, what is meant to be. As long as we are human, we will face times when the only choice is to accept life on life's terms. But in that acceptance lies the most precious treasure, the gift of now. What did I just fucking say, y'all? <laughs> Be in the now. Surrender to this moment exactly as it is. Your heart will open, releasing what needs to be left behind as you join with the conscious universe on a journey of your own healing. Something wonderful is awaiting you, but you must first be present in what is so that you can have this experience and receive the gift of recognizing that you are stronger than you know. When the wheel of fortune turns, you may look back on this moment as crucial for your growth. Very often, unanswered prayers and unexpected twists of fate lead to the destiny that the heart seeks. Trust now in this process of acceptance. Trust the conscious universe has your back. Taurus, if you are still watching, if you are feeling this message, if you are listening, in the comments, type, I will live in the now. I will, I will live in the now. That needs to be your mantra. I will live in the now. The past doesn't matter right now. The outcome, the future doesn't matter right now. Now is what matters right now. Okay, so spirit. What advice do you have for Taurus? What advice do you have for Taurus? <laughs> okay, that's a lot of cards. What are these other two? Okay, period. Immediately with the strength card and the ten of swords, I heard kill that weak shit. Kill that weak shit. Strength in reverse. This is not a time for weakness. Let that shit end. In the words of Kanye West. Because we don't want to hear that weak shit no more. <laughs> Get them high, okay? Um, and for energy, it's time to boss up. It is time to boss up. This is entrepreneurial energy. This is boss energy. 
So no more crying, no more whining, no more being fearful, no more sacrificing the things that you want to do. No more sacrificing and martyring yourself or other people. This is a time for you. This is a time for for your growth, for your success, for you to focus on you. This is a time for you to boss up. This is a time for you to take control. Okay? With the three of wands and the chariot. You had the three of wands in the reverse earlier. This is waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> All right? However, in the upright, the things that you are waiting for are going to come in. And they're going to come in fast. When you stop being so fearful, when you stop sacrificing and martyring yourself, when you boss up, when you focus on you, it's really common sense. You get out of things what you put into them. Right now, you're not putting as much in as you possibly could because you're distracted by other people. Some of y'all are purposely being distracted. Some of you all care too much about the outcome. You are too fearful. So you're not putting in what you could. But when you direct your focus towards yourself, towards your goals, and when you take control and put all of your effort into these things, of course, you're going to reap the rewards quickly. What other way could it go? You get out of things what you put into them, period. All right, so let's get your postcard from Spirit. And Spirit says, Dearest you, Everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we, hear, we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and your physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, clutter, girl, clutter, whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs or fearful thoughts of your past or future. Hello. Instead, focus on the now. <laughs> empty your mind, empty your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have. Sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them, know their value. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. Bro, this card literally embodied this whole reading. I could have just pulled this card and we could have just been done. <laughs> but period. And it's just driving home everything that was said in this reading. You need to clear the clutter, the clutter. You need to cut away the people who are not serving you. Those negative thoughts that are not serving you. The fear that is not serving you. They even, they even spoke about uh, being in the now. This is three times in this reading that you are being told to focus on now. Speaking of that, where's my book? I highly recommend that y'all get y'all hands on The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. There are some audio books on YouTube of this book. I'll link it in the description box. But get your hands on that book and read it. There's so much power, power in being in the present, in focusing on the now, okay? The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's not on my bookshelf, but I was going to show y'all the cover. <laughs> but yeah, get your hands on that and read that. Um, but this is your message, and I hope that 
Um, if it hits, y'all let me know in the comments below if this resonates for you. Uh, please make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this will be the last mid-month that you get automatically. The mid-months will now be based on the performance of the monthlies. So if y'all appreciate this content, if you all would like to make sure that Taurus always gets a reading, please make sure that you like this video and any of the videos that you watch on this channel to keep uh, you all in the forefront to get these readings. Okay, of course, I'm still going to be doing the weeklies, the collective readings, the toxic collective, all of that. Uh, but, you know, this is just for y'all. So make sure y'all continue to get y'all's own readings. All right. So this is your reading. If it resonates, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. And of course, until the next time I read for you all, I wish you all love and light. Now go get right and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.